My next guest, singer, songwriter, actress, movie producer, who was recently shortlisted for an Oscar for Till Your Home, which is the title track to her new film, A Man Called Otto. Rita Wilson also has an album of duets out celebrating some of her favourite songs from the 70s. It is so good to see you. It's so nice to be here. Thank it you for really having is. me. Let's have a listen to this. It's beautiful. Tell me you love me only And that you'll always Let it be me Oh, lovely. <laughs> Peter, it's so good to see you. Thank you. It really is. Um, now and forever. I guess one of the hardest things was choosing the songs because there are so many and so many people that you wanted to work with. It's so true. And <laughs> the 70s are still so relevant today. Yeah. And, you know, when you're doing an album and you're trying to kind of bring something new to it, I thought, what could be different? And that's where the duets idea came right. about. And I started looking at those songs from the 70s as possible conversations between lovers. And, you know, you start with a ton of songs and then you put them in and then you narrow them down by which songs would make those great conversations. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the other things that was just so funny when we talk about 70s songs, um, of course, on this album, we have Willie Nelson and Smokey Robinson and Keith Urban and Jackson Brown, as you yeah. saw, Elvis Costello. Oh, wonderful. Um, but the 70s are still so relevant. I was at an Eagles concert and there were these two young guys behind me and we were all singing and dancing and harmonizing and having a great time. And after an intermission or something, I turned to them and I said, um, uh, how do you guys know all of, all of these songs? You're so young. <laughs> and one guy was Irish and he said, uh, okay, forgive my bad Irish accent, but he said, if, if your parents had taken you to as many Eagles shows as my parents have, you might know the songs. And the other guy was Scottish and in his Scottish accent, which I'll, I would let you do. I'm not going to do that one, Lorraine. <laughs> but he said, I just love that music. I love that period. So I said, well, I'm Rita. It's very nice to meet you. And the Scottish guy said, well, I'm Lewis. And it was Lewis Capaldi. OK. And then the <laughs> Irish guy said, I'm Niall. And it was Niall Horan. For goodness And they knew sake. every single word, oh, every that's single. Lovely. Yeah, it was that is fantastic. So good. And they're such good mates as well. Yes. They really are. They are they're good guys. You need to do something with them. Oh, that's a good Come idea. On. That has to happen. It, it really does. That absolutely has to happen. But I'll it's take true, that. You it? make that call, Lorraine. I will. Absolutely. <laughs> Timeless classics, though. That's the thing. A good song is a good song. It's a good song. And a good song that resonates with you, that touches people with that people have at their wedding or it brings a, a memory back to them. It's These so are the true. songs that we want to hold on to. You know, we? my mom, uh, my mom was Greek and, but she loved music and she always mm. had music on in the, uh, in the house and in the car. And we were driving one day and that bread song came on that's called Everything I Own. Oh yes. And my mom said, what do you think this song is about? And I said, you know, I'm a 12 year old or something. I think it's about a girl and a guy and they broke up and they're never gonna see each other again. And she said, maybe, but I think maybe it's about somebody who died and you're never going to see them again. And I was like, way to go, mom, bring me down. <laughs> but it was also That's a way to understand that people have different interpretations of songs. Totally, and it means, and at different times and stages in your life, it can mean exactly different things right. as well. Exactly well, right, Well, this is obviously, you know, duets and covers of amazing songs. But of course you write your own stuff and are you going to be yes. doing more of that, do you think? Is that the yes. next project? Yes, I have uh, about two or three, maybe three albums of original music yep. Yep. and um, that's fantastic. And of course I wrote the song with David Hodges for the end of A Man Called Otto, which is mm. called Till Your Home. Yeah. And yeah, there's I have a whole album that's in the that's been recorded and just waiting for the right date for that to come out. Isn't that brilliant how, you know, the, the, the two things can cross over? The fact your love of music and your love of being a musician and all of that. Yeah. Um, and then that, you know, obviously you're steeped in film. Of course you are, the whole family is. Right. <laughs> it is, you know, there's no getting away from it. But that you're able to do that. And what I think is really great about you is, I mean, obviously we've seen you acting, of course we have, but also producing, you know, also making things happen. And we don't have enough, particularly women, doing that. Well, I just want to say this. I think women are natural producers anyway. Yes. Because they're multitaskers. When you think of all the things that women do in the course of a day, sure. I have, I'm in awe of that. So, and, but I also believe that we're creative in multiple ways. Mm. It doesn't, if you're a creative person, you usually don't just do one thing. And actors, for sure, were trying to find time, things to do on their spare mm -hmm. time when you're sure. not acting. But um, I believe that there's 
so there's so much creative impulse that people have. Mm. And I came to songwriting relatively late and I never in a million years dreamed that I would be here, sitting here <laughs> talking with you about music. Yay. And I, I really encourage people to do the things that they love to do. And I think, I think people know what it is. If you go back to your childhood and you say, what was the thing that gave me joy? Usually that's your answer of yeah. what what things you you might want you're to right. do now. You no, know? You're, you're absolutely right. It, it's true. And it, we found out definitely during the pandemic that music and films and all of that became so, so important. So true. You know, they, they really did. And, and that's, you know, there's no denying that. It brought us together. You know, I mean, I remember I was I would be sitting watching, watching a, a movie while my daughter was thousands of miles away watching the same film. Exactly. And we were talking about it on the phone. <laughs> that's right. That's right. what we had to do. That's you know? right. There's that's so exciting. much value in entertainment. I there know, really I is. And the, the man called, a man called Otto you yes. mentioned obviously your lovely husband is that is Thank in there you. there he yes, is he and is. your and your son yes as well he, that was a real family affair. he looks like my husband he's yes he, the director was <laughs> is very good. adamant he he did not like the fact okay, that yeah. usually when you see a movie and there's a younger version of a person that that yeah. person never looks enough like the it, character indeed and so uh he was very influential there he is oh, oh God, in getting him to work but he he wants to be a cinematographer so he's working Working a lot oh. on um, on uh, TV shows. It makes sense. Succession. Do you have Succession? Here? Do we? Ha I'm yes. Obsessed. It's my ringtone <laughs> on my phone. I'm beyond obsessed so with good. that. I'm, I'm counting down. I'm so I've got a calendar it's counting so down. So and they, apparently they're ending the season now. Which I know. Really I can't. I can't, I can't yeah. cope. I can't cope. I love the fact that if I was invited to your house, you have to do a turn, as we oh, say yes. in Scotland. You've yes. got to do that, and that's what used to happen. And whenever my family would have a party, so when you come to your house. You have to actually have a wee, a wee thing prepared. That's right. I like that. Uh, we have a little dinner that we do sometimes. <laughs> it's really fun. We jokingly named it Sing for Your Suffer. But exactly. we invite friends over and everybody has to come with a song. Even if you're not a professional, you have to come with a song. <laughs> and my pianist comes and he knows everything. So uh, I love that. And and people just have the best time. Yeah, it's, but you, it's, that's not fair, Rita, because you would win. You're the, you know, you're, no, you're obviously no, going to win. No, you would not believe, you would not believe how good people are, even if they're not professionals. They're really, they, they, everybody has a song that they love to of do. Course, of so course. it's, it's fun. It's a joy to talk to you. Thank you Thank so much, you. Rita. Um, now and Forever Duets is out right now. That's Thank right. you so much.